darling. Usually, I don't trash an entire anime, and out of all the anime I finish, keyword finish, I only have three with low ratings in my book. I don't rate anime I haven't finished. I finish Absolute Duo, so I gave it a 5 out of 10. After dropping this anime so many times because I couldn't get past episode 1, I decided to stick it out for some reason. I thought maybe it would get better. Maybe if I look past the generic main character, the interesting designs, and the blah 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 plot, I could enjoy this anime. I recall what kept me coming back to this anime is the banger OP. I would rate this OP a 10 out of 10. It's perfect. I must admit, I started to like what was what was going on with this anime because I got deeper into it. I was thinking this anime might be a light 7 out of 10 until we got to the final battle. Not every battle is going to be an unlimited Blade Wars DBZ AOT level, but this one just wasn't it. The final episode begins with the smart character. You know he's smart because he's the one wearing glasses, doing something dumb. He rushed the final boss like Leroy Jenkins, and after he gets whooped, we never see him again. This fight has like a total of two good moments, and this is one of them. I never seen physics like this before. Also, K CGI straight trash. I know this is a 2015 anime CGI, but this is horrible. I. I think season 1 of Ruby was better. It's really a horror to the eyes. I'm not even talking about the suit's design. What is this mess? This man looks like male Newell 13 from Blazeboo. What I hate most about this fight is that the plot armor isn't even subtle. Tori gets stabbed in the back with the blood spilling out from both sides of his body. He's down there for a while while Julie gets a legendary Super Saiyan power boost. Now Julie's Berserker mode isn't plot armor, it was already established she had this power within her so her partner toy getting beat up, stabbed, bleeding out kind of um, in the case, um, it just justifies her attaining this super crazy Berserker mode legendary Super Saiyan DBZ power boost. Now this is the second coolest moment in the episode and it almost saved it for me but I couldn't get past over the fact that Toy was still bleeding out, but managing to get up and walk it out like he just stole his toe. He manages to calm her down with a single hug. More plot armor here because her soul was about to slice through his entire shoulder, but whatever. After Julie turns it back to Jennifer Walters, she Hulk. Toy is legit acting like he wasn't just bleeding out over there. There's zero pain in his voice. DBZ has hella plot armor, but at least you can hear the pain in their voices. Tor is moving like nothing happened. They didn't, they didn't even patch his wound up, so yeah, he should still be bleeding out or something. Like crazy. Like, he got he got stabbed through his body with a sword. If he does survive, he should at least have to fight like an affection for a week or something. But what else? This is an anime about duos and partners. So I expect some friendship with this magic power attack, whatever, and boom, bada, bang, the enemy's done. That's really it. All right, listen, maybe there are worse fights out there in anime, but this one just hurt me because off top, I was even blown away by the anime. It, like, it has its moments. It's not the worst anime ever, but it's not something you can put next to Full Metal Alchemist or Sword Art Online. I will put this anime next to Trinity 7. And if you never heard of that anime, then that's my point. This was another video of me praising and complaining about anime. If you want to watch more, you can click on the playlist right here. And I have a video on why I hate beach episodes. And also follow me on Twitter for more anime tapes. And I stream on Twitch. All links are below. Have a good one. Oh my god, oh my god at this, man.